Hi there, this is Jenny Colgan uh, for hashtag where I write, which is um, authors uh, talking about where they write and what we do. I shall turn it around to say hello, but I'm just looking out the window. Hey, hello. One, it's a lovely day. And two, we've just moved. Uh, we've just moved to the country. Now, a lot of my books are kind of uh, journeys of self-discovery, particularly for women who want a simpler life and a kind of clearer life and, and things like Rosie Hopkins' Sweet Shop of Dreams or A Little Beach Street Bakery is about people moving uh, to, to kind of discover the world in a nice environment and we have just done the same thing. So we don't have any shops. <laughs> I've never lived in the country before. Hi Lenny. Uh, okay, there we go. But it's pretty gorgeous out here. Right, well, so listen, you should know that because we have just moved in, Everything is in kind of everywhere. Everything is, is kind of slightly all over the place. And uh, I am, so actually when I say, oh, I have my office, I don't actually have my <laughs> office as yet. I am, um, uh, we are uh, just uh, basically covered in boxes. And the room which is going to be my office is, um, because we've moved from another country, it's the only place we've got a plug. There we go. Did that go around? Yes, I think it did. Um, uh, so it's basically just full of uh, kind of things like hair dryers and uh, everything, printers and everything. It's like a horrible electrical goods shop in there. So at the moment, I am working in a corner of the dining room, which is where we are. Uh, and I've kind of had to commandeer a bit of it. Uh, now, I will say, hang on. Uh, I will say the, um, I don't know if... Um, a lot of writers are like this. I kind of think that we are, but I don't really care too much about where I write. And if you are a writer, you're trying to be a writer. It's not that important. I write, like a lot of people, I write very well on things like trains, airplanes. I like to write in a cafe where there's like kind of white noise behind me. That works quite well for me. And I actually, uh, when I was in London, I lived for two years in a rental with uh, a cupboard. I worked in a room with no windows facing a wall. Um, so actually, it's, it's kind of like thinking that you'll never be a writer until you find the perfect pencil. Um, you know, it's, it's not really that important. Hence, I don't mind too much camping out on the side of the dining table. All right, hang on. Yeah, okay. Um, basically, if you work in front of a screen um, at all in your job, then you're doing the same job as I am. <laughs> this is like, you can use a, it's held on with gaffer tape, my laptop, bless its heart. And I still have my French keyboard from when we lived in France and I can't really, um, yeah, I can't really adjust. So <laughs> it's just going to have to stay the gaffer taped model, I would say, forever. Now, um, some people, some writers write, um, uh, it's depending. Whereas I'm much more of a magpie and I like to write... Oh, let me quickly do this. No, <laughs> that doesn't work at all. Hang on. Go around, go around. Yeah. There we are. Right, this is my new book, or this is the UK cover of my new book, Summer at Little Beach Street Bakery. Uh, this is the audio, which I have trouble listening to because all I can hear are the, mis the things I wish I'd done slightly differently. However, it is a really lovely reading and a really lovely edition. Anyway, I like doing lots of... I'm quite a magpie when it comes to my, my, my work, and I don't just write like writing one novel a year. I like doing lots of different things. I enjoy uh, the, the things like... Um, well, bakery, obviously the bakeries, the Cupcake Cafe series, those kinds of things I do love doing. And I, I do love that kind of sense of women kind of, you know, breaking out from jobs that they didn't like because I had a job I did not like and doing something for themselves. Uh, but I also love sci-fi. It's very important to me. Uh, I love Doctor Who and I like writing for that brand. And this year, I, it occurred to me earlier, <laughs> you don't need... To, to wear a Batman t-shirt to be a sci-fi writer, but you know, it, it does help. It also occurred to me that I look like I'm wearing pajamas and I know people say all the time, writers wear pajamas, but I, I promise, I look, trousers, I think, you know, shoes. It's a terrible myth that writers work in their pajamas. Sometimes I work in my pajamas, but obviously not on Periscope day. Um, and, uh, basically, 
So, so at the moment, what I did today, what I've been doing today, is working on my children's book. Now, there is, um, which is called Polly and the Puffin. I meant to do this before so we can see it. And it's for kind of three to five year olds. And the first one's out and has done really nicely. And what we're doing now is working on the second one. And um, I just spelled that really badly and I think. And so what, as you can tell by this, I'm not much of an artist. So what I do is I draw it and then they find a real artist uh, to illustrate it. And in fact, the chap who does, so let's see if I can find, yeah. I was doing Neil, he looks a bit like that. Whereas Thomas Doherty, who's the real artist doing Neil, I'm gonna focus, there we are. Makes him look like that and he's really, really, there you go. So that's his Neil, which is taken from my Neil. And that's my Polly and that's his, which is much better. Uh, so today, what I've been doing is sending roughs in of the next book and how I want it roughly to look for the artist. Uh, children's books are really, Oh, there you go, because you've got to read uh, them out, out loud so often. They're kind of story time books, and I find them so hard. Uh, and they need to be the right balance for early readers, like children who are just starting to read, to make sure they get a right balance of words that they know, and a couple of words that they don't know, you know, to push them on a bit. But also something that's not unendurable if you're reading it at bedtime to children, <laughs> to read it a lot. Uh, so I do find children's books very difficult. I'm working now, I was thinking earlier about what I could talk to you about, about the adult books I'm currently working on. I'm currently working on three adult projects, two books and one something else. And I realised I can't uh, talk about any of them. That's just kind of the nature of it. So there's one out next March, one out next May and one out this summer. All I can tell you is um, the, the real basics of, of how it's done, which is, look, just Wherever you, there's my word count. So this is on one of my projects. It's 22,000 words. Every day I will add two to two and a half thousand words to that number down there. Every single day. And, but then I've been doing it for a long time. So, you know, if you or a thousand words, as long as it's consistent and as long as it's every day, then you just build it and build it and build it. And here's the thing, here's really important. And I think a lot of people, when they worry about writing, uh, don't really take this on board. It doesn't matter. Those don't need to be perfect words. They don't even need to be that good. That's what editing is for. Editing is the work. Writing is just getting the stuff down on paper and then you can fix it. You can always fix it. So if I was to give you any advice, it would be to get those words done at your dinner table, at a corner, in a cupboard, in a cafe, in a train, and um, fix them later. And in case you were thinking, Yes, that's all right for you to say, Jen, uh, but, you know, where are your children? And <laughs> I will say my husband is at sea and it's holiday time here in Scotland. And my kids have been put in, you know, not prison exactly, <laughs> but they're on a, a council run sports course where I think they're having a good time. And, you know, I think we should be clear about that, too. I don't I think there's a terrible thing in the media with people who have jobs, particularly women who kind of try and imply that they do it all and they just take their kids everywhere. <laughs> and, you know, it's really easy. And there's always actresses talking about how they take them to film sets and stuff. And um, that's not true, is it? It's not right, is it? We need help, particularly women. We work. It's all right to be honest about the fact that, you know, someone comes in and, and, and helps a bit with the house and someone, uh, you know, we have to put our children somewhere. Uh, it's okay. We're working women. It's fine. And that, I think, is about, oh, yeah, I, I literally can't show you anything else because it's just big boxes. Oh, here we go. I, like, the first thing, once the Wi-Fi was set up, the other first thing we needed, a reading corner. Here we go. So you can come in when you get home and there's a big pile of cushions and whoever's first to it gets it. And you can sit and there's a reading light there. And I think as long as, if you can get one of these in your house, then you can consider yourself very lucky indeed. Thanks. We're saying hi have a lovely afternoon it's pretty nice here and bye do i have to turn it around again i'll turn it around again okay me and batman see